My name is Hannah Gartside. I am living and working in Melbourne on the land of the Boomerang and Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I'm in my studio today, which is in Brunswick on the north side. I now mostly work as a visual artist. Um, my practice is centered around sculpture and installation. I work quite specifically with found, worn, collected uh, fabrics, materials and ephemera. I just absolutely delight in seeing these kind of beautiful moments or strangeness in the everyday. I love using materials that already have a kind of story or um, they have a physicality to them, they have a crude lived experience, they have their own memories um, through their usage or context or um, their methods of production. This is a body of work that I first imagined and proposed for a different project um, maybe in 2019 and um, it's been really close to my heart for a long time and I've worked steadily now um, for about 14 months on this, on this one series of sculptures. The works are made with deep kind of technical support and fabrication by um, a local fabricator called John Karolenko. We've worked together multiple times and um, I am so grateful that I'm able to give to him a pencil drawing um, with measurements on it and then receive back a steel armature um, that's, you know, almost two metres long. Um, so that's an incredible relationship. One of the things that also happened earlier this year was obviously Brittany Higgins allegations and me along with a lot of my friends or this kind of context, it, it was, I had this feeling of um, unsafeness at the highest level and the fact that that disrespect for women um, goes to the, you know, the highest office in the country. And for a lot of us, it was a kind of reckoning with our pasts and like experiences of mistreatment. And that was very painful, but um, it kind of ties into something I wanted to touch on in the work, which is that a lot of the time in kind of um, cases of sexual assault or the way people are perceived, um, their clothing kind of seems to be used, um, be blamed, be kind of uh, framed as complicit, um, being given more agency than the actual perpetrator. And partly these sculptures are kind of saying, well, the clothes are sick of it. Give me a break. So they fight back, you know, like this is their their moment of wrathfulness uh, of fury of rage all of my work here is done mostly using cutting and sewing techniques um, very very straightforward kind of dressmaking skills that i learned first through my grandma um, who taught me to sew when we moved to australia when i was six and then um, through training in fashion design, which was my first degree. And then I very quickly moved into costume making and a bit of costume design. And um, that is a really, for me, it's really exciting because it's ways of taking um, two dimensional ideas, maybe drawings, and then um, physicalizing them, materializing them, and working out how to take a flat material and fabric the fabrics that I work with are usually dressmaking fabrics that are come off a bolt, so they're usually somewhere between 110 and 150 centimetres long. Um, so you're kind of working with this rectangle always, but then that has to have a, um, that becomes three dimensional. So I use, I, I still really draw on my pattern making skills that I learned in those first, in my early 20s.
what does it feel like for these sculptures to be both seductive and enchanting and also relentless so they all spin either clockwise or anti-clockwise um, that goes on for the whole eight duration of the day um, at varying speeds um, and just this kind of you know it becomes a bit mental like that um, constant rotation and I I, I want to be able to charge the space in the gallery to really, um, to, to see what that feels like. So often I'm really keen on going to live music when it's possible and there's been a few artists that I've seen where you just have, I just have this sensation of um, permission from seeing these absolutely feral women on stage and I just kind of want to be able to feel into that myself and, and offer that to the viewer.